the symptoms that uh, I was uh, experiencing at the time were the result of a, of a back injury pulling weeds. And uh, initially, I could barely make it to the house when I tried to get up. And then the symptoms uh, uh, just got worse and worse in my back, my lower back, uh, down my right leg, and uh, especially morning. The pain would wake me every morning between 5 and 6 o'clock every day for the last year up until this surgery. When it came to activities, uh, I was still pastoring the church at the time of the accident and uh, immediately I realized that I was in serious trouble, unable to do much of anything, uh, anything, uh, lifting, moving, sitting, just about everything created horrible pain, debilitating pain at times. When the accident first took place, I sought out uh, chiropractic, which I have a close friend who's a chiropractor, Dr. Neil Grafe in Temple. And uh, he did some adjustments, which helped temporarily. And uh, it wasn't too long into that that I realized that uh, the chiropractic wasn't going to work. I tried acupuncture after that. And after several sessions of acupuncture, I realized that wasn't going to work. And uh, so I was brought face to face with a much more serious problem. The accident took place in the last part of March of last year. And uh, after the failure of chiropractic and acupuncture, I began at the VA to seek further help. And I have a pacemaker. And uh, because of the pacemaker, I went through two and a half months of the runaround. Yes, we will do an MRI. No, we won't do an MRI. Yes, we will. No, we won't. Uh, it, it was an excruciatingly painful two and a half months. I never even got to the pain management clinic until August of last year, four months. Well, Dr. Grafe, my chiropractor, when he realized that I was gonna be seeking out pain management, uh, he recommended me to Dr. Mehta. He said, I believe that he's the best man that can help you. If anybody can help you, Dr. Mehta can help you. Well, initially, the treatment uh, that I was provided, we went through all of the various stages of steroid injections. We had two rounds of steroid injections and then another round of uh, pain block injections uh, all over a period of about five months and none of those were able to uh, eradicate the pain. There was some, I would call it natural healing from March until uh, I, I received the procedure in, in, in uh, February. So there was some natural healing. It was, wasn't as excruciating as it was at the beginning, but nothing was able to help me when it comes to driving or sitting any, any length of time. I'm a musician, sitting on the piano bench was just very, very painful. And uh, so that was uh, kind of the way it went. We tried everything prior to this procedure. The route that we ultimately took with the Minuteman procedure or surgical procedure uh, was kind of the end of the road of what uh, Dr. Mehta was able to offer me. He did suggest if I wanted to try the spinal <clears throat> uh, nerve stimulator, but at that point I was ready to get permanent relief and I felt like that uh, the stimulator may help, but eventually it's going to have to be surgery. So he mentioned the Minuteman procedure to me and uh, I was ready to go, more than ready to go. <laughs> At this present time, I'm between two of these procedures. I've had the first one, and I'm scheduled for the second one in May. And uh, so we didn't know, of course, how much results we would have from the first one. And uh, uh, the uh, First one, although I, I have, to, have to confess, they didn't tell me that this was gonna be very painful. When they said minimally invasive, I was thinking minimal pain. Uh, no, that's not, that's not necessarily the case. <laughs> so uh, there was a lot of pain following the surgery. 
Uh, however, within a week or so, uh, that subsided quite a bit. And uh, then it, it was a six week recovery, which I finished two weeks ago. And uh, within maybe two to three weeks, I knew that something was changing. And so at the end of the six weeks, uh, I'm able to drive without pain. I'm able to walk, I'm able to bend. Uh, I do not have any pain in my right leg anymore at all. And I have minimal pain in my lower back, which we believe that the second uh, procedure will take care of that. I know it's a relatively new procedure, the, the Minuteman procedure, but I would certainly recommend it to anybody who has uh, spinal stenosis issues. Prior to the surgery, uh, I was uh, just so unable to do much of anything that I had to be cared for a lot. And uh, uh, it, it ruined, I say ruined, the, uh, my lifestyle was very, very, very poor. And mentally, emotionally, physically, uh, prior to the prior to the surgery, uh, it just beat me down, just beat me down. And I didn't know if I'd ever be able to do any of the normal things again. My disposition and outlook has taken a drastic change for the better. It's so much better that people who have watched me go through this are startled at how they say, whoa, what happened? What happened? You're walking normal. You're you're, you've got expression back in your face. Your eyes are bright again. Uh, we like to be around you again, which, uh, of course, nobody wants to be around somebody that's in, in horrible chronic pain. I'm a minister and I was pastoring a church when this took place. But I've been in the public eye for many, many years and also a musician. So not being able to sit for any length of time was extremely difficult for me playing the piano. <clears throat> and. Uh, as a person of faith, uh, I believe that God works in many different ways. I believe that there are miracles. I believe that there are natural healings. I believe that there's medical healings. And uh, as far as this situation is concerned, as I prayed, I believe that the answer to my prayer was Dr. Grafe referring me to Dr. Meadow. Meadow. And that, is the, uh, that was the one thing that I could, have, I could have been sent anywhere being in the VA system, they were kind enough to allow me to choose where I wanted to go for my pain, uh, <clears throat> for, my, for the pain clinic that I would choose. Partly because they had dropped the ball so many times, I hate to say that, but it was a, a torturous four months to get to this point. And uh, so they let me choose. Dr. Neal suggested Dr. Mehta. Dr. Mehta became the answer to my prayer.